Hi, I'm Dan Rosenberg. Uh, thank you, Rob, for inviting me to read as part of the series. Um, I'm just going to read three short poems from my new book, Bassinet, um, just out from Carnegie Mellon University Press. The first poem is called Cause and Effect. Because we are so thoughtless, we kiss each other on the holes we speak from. We cross our legs upon each other, angling in, always angling in. The fireplace is electric, but that doesn't stop our melding on the hardwood. Because we are so hungry, we stare like owls at the bar-lit faces of strangers we know we're supposed to want. You are a deep-sea diver, and I'm an inactive volcano. You are a starfish, and I'm a rash from a wetsuit. You are four honeymooners, and I'm the blonde walking by. Because we are so close, our fingertips catch. You plunge us into the ocean. I speak in bubbles. You grow a shell, and I'm the grit in your mantle. We irritate each other. We produce a pearl. The second one is called, Is it Astronomy or Astrology? Tired as old honey, I've sunk my faith and fortune to the footwell and slumped, head on the wheel as if by thinking I could change direction. As if the stars were steadfast in the sky, worth driving by. Bright wife, I snipe and rake, I silence, smart ass, I know. The hippie preacher yesterday said to be ourselves, but I want for you a better man than me. Here is the limit of my good husbandry. He's asleep in the car seat. And I'll park here and breathe, bring my little corner of our world back to right angle. And when our sun stirs, I'll call him softly into his body, serve him like a map to a better map, to manhood more complete, to you. Our small nebula, our wet penny moaning his way back to the car now, to me, staying, waiting for him, so we can leave the parking lot and totter up to you. And this, this will be the last poem, it's called The Stapler. For the hole in the aorta of our nation, I've got this stapler. For the slow descent of the sky, I've got this stapler. For tears pooling in the echo of the dog's sharp bark. For the poor signal tethering grandpa to grandson and the absence only one of them knows. For the buckled sidewalk in front of the food pantry. For the brown slush in the asparagus bag. I've got this stapler. Good news, democracy. Good news, rhinos. I've got this stapler. Sometimes in the small blizzard above my desk, two papers will briefly separate and there is joy. Sometimes even the wallpaper corners peel out into the room and I know my stapler isn't what's called for, but it works. It works for now. I watch the lightning batter the clock tower and I grip my stapler. I watch the blood moon rise. With it, the dead are rising with no particular desires, as if they've exited the elevator on the wrong floor. My father's father wanders up to me, working a familiar hat in his bony hands. He spins it slowly. His mouth is a cave of light. I rise from my desk and my head is in the blizzard. My eyes go white. I want to take his hands, but I've got this stapler. Thank you.